Hello all. Today we are going to see few problems from array optics. Uh, basically we are going to solve three problems based on lens, mirror, prisms. All the three problems are important which are having a common nature asking for normally for the NEAT and IATJE kind of entrance examinations. Understand the concept from each of the questions. Try to apply this concept while we are coming across uh, these kind of uh, questions on your, on, once you are practicing it. We will go one by one. First question. Radius of curvature of a convex face of a plano convex lens is 15 cm and the refractive index of the material is 1.4 then the power of the lens in diopter is the main things which you have to remember while solving any problems which is related with the ray optics is identify the device which is given in the question point number one second point identify or list the parameters which is given in the question point number two follow these two steps so that it's easy to attend the question here the question is given it's a plano convex lens so that is a device and the radius of curvature of the convex surface is 15 centimeter I, I can say r equal to 15 centimeter or 0 0.15 meter for a convex surface which is uh, taken as a positive quantity plus 15 centimeter will come to the same conventions in the next two minutes refractive index of the material is 1.4 then the power of the lenses now can you think for a moment what it will be the relations which is connecting between power of the lens which is called 1 by f and the radius of curvature and the refractive index of the material here how many radius of curvatures will be there two radius of curvatures r1 and r2 okay either r1 equal to 15 centimeter or r2 equal to 15 centimeter i don't know have to take uh, any one and if i'm taking r1 equal to 15 centimeter of course r2 is my plane surface which is infinity in another way students can also take r2 equal to plus 15 centimeter and r1 equal to infinite because radius of curvature of a plane surface is infinite <coughs> let's see these two contexts how the answers will be different or not differs let's assume the conditions like a first left side surface is a convex surface and the right side surface is a plane surface in that context we are applying the lens formula 1 by f equal to mu minus 1 into 1 by r1 minus 1 by r2 as I told, left side is a convex surface, so R1 equal to plus 15 and R2 equal to infinity. Mu is given 1.4 and 1 by F, which is called power in diopter, we have to calculate. So we are substituting all the values and we got power equal to 2.66. So the answer is D here. Now let's think a little in depth to this question. Suppose one student is taking r2 as uh, 0 0.15 what is wrong with that is something is wrong with that no nothing is wrong just assume in this conditions in this description so what i have assumed is like the left side is a convex surface and the right side is a plane surface so how we will be take the radius of curvature we will take the radius of curvatures from the pole towards right Okay, towards right in the default sign convention wise, which is positive. That's what R1 is positive here. Suppose one another student is taking first left side surface is a plane surface and the right side surface is a convex surface. Then in that case is R1 equal to infinity. What about R2? R2 equal to minus 15 centimeter or minus 0 0.15 meter. Why? When right side is a convex surface, I am taking or I am measuring the radius of curvature 
towards left from the pole that's what it is coming as negative so you can also answer 1 by f equal to refractive index mu minus 1 1.4 minus 1 within bracket 1 by instead of r1 you can give infinity minus 1 divided by minus 0 0.15 this way also you can answer both will give the same result so it doesn't matters how you are assuming your plano convex surface you can draw your plano convex surface left side is plane right side is convex or other way around left side is convex right side is plane surface both ways answer will be the same because in conventions will be changing for the convex surfaces depends upon whether you are taking to the left or you are taking to the right We'll go to the next question. Question number two. Question number two is based on a mirror concept. Square wire of side one centimeter is placed perpendicular to the principal axis of a concave mirror of focal length 15 centimeter and the object is at a distance of 20 centimeter. We want to find area enclosed by the image. As I told for the first questions, for every problem which is related to optics, we need to identify the two parameters. The first one, identify the device. Here it is mirror, specifically concave mirror. All the mirror formulas are applicable here. Second one is focal length, 15 centimeter, an object is at 20 centimeter. These are the given parameters. We we'll list the given parameters with appropriate sign conventions. U equal to minus 20 centimeter because object is at the left side and f equal to minus 15 centimeter because it is a concave mirror and we are measuring the radius of curvature from right to left for a concave mirror minus 15 centimeter applying the mirror formula 1 by v plus 1 by u equal to 1 by f now we'll understand what we want to finally find out we want to finally find out the size of the image i can say simply say size of the image <coughs> equal to magnification into size of the object so my aim is to find out the size of the object size of the image uh, size of the object is oh, sorry already given so if i find magnification i can find size of the image once again i'm repeating size of the image equal to size of the object into magnification so our aim is to find out magnification u and f is given we can find out the value of v from these equations and v equal to minus 60 centimeter applying the magnification formula m equal to minus v by u is a general formula for mirrors substituting minus minus 60 divided by minus 20 both numerator and denominator minus got cancelled and answer is minus 3 Intentionally, I have omitted minus 3, minus signs will be here. What this minus sign indicate? If magnification is positive, it indicates it's an erect image. If magnification is minus sign, which indicate it's an inverted image. So here, question is not intended as to find out whether it is an erect image or it is an inverted image. Question is only asking about the size. So I don't want to take care about the sign conventions. So I considered here magnitude values of mode uh, magnitude values of this magnifications which is equal to 3 now I got the answers magnification is 3 object size is 1 centimeter for one side so what is the corresponding size size of images 3 into magnification into size of the object so 3 into 1 centimeter so 3 centimeter is one side length of the image so what will be the area it's a square so of course 3 into 3 answer is 9 centimeter square option e is the right answer here we'll go with one more questions related with prism a thin prism p of refracting angle 3 degree and refractive index 1.5 combines with another prism q of refractive index 1.6 produces dispersions without deviations ankle of the prism q of course as like i told for the first question device is a prism so we know it's a prism an angle of the prism or apex angle or prism angle or refracting angle all are same all are normally called prism angle for the prism p the refracting angle or the prism angle is three degree 
refractive index is given for the second prism prism angle has to find out and refractive index is given while we are learning about the concept of prism there are two conditions will be there dispersions without a deviations for one condition another one is deviations without a dispersion here the question is focused on dispersions without a deviations that means deviation produced by one prism plus deviation produced by the second prism is equal to zero what is the deviation produced by a single prism delta which is equal to n minus 1 into a in general or mu minus 1 into a what about for the second prism mu dash minus 1 into a dash so sum of these two deviations are equal to zero mu and mu dash are the different refractive index a and a dash are the prism angle a for the prism angle for the prism p and a dash is the prism angle for the prism q so we need to find out a dash substituting the values which are given will be here 1.5 and 1.6 are the refractive indexes are respectively and 3 degree is the refracting angle or the prism angle of the first prism second prism refracting angle has to be find out we substituted the values and we got minus 2.5 degree what this minus sign indicate why minus sign will be here answer is quite simple when we are combining with a two prisms one prisms with the another prism the combination of the prism is normally placing one prisms in upright and the prisms in an inverted way so if one prism will be giving positive angle of prism second prisms will be giving an inverted angle with respect to the first prism that's what negative sign come here hope you understood the three questions if you like the video please subscribe to our channel so that and uh, click on the bell icon so that you will get the notifications while we are uploading the further videos thanks for watching